What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and to episode three of this little caddy mini series. So in the last one you saw we got all the walls and the metalwork all carpeted, insulation in the walls, uh, and we managed to get all the B-pillar trims back into their factory locations and yeah, getting the cab back together. We've got this gap between the uh, back of the B-pillar and the back of the van, the walls, to get over. Now I said in the last one that I thought I'd come up with a brilliant idea and it turns out people have been doing it for years. So that's what we're going to do. I've offered in the uh, hardboard roof panel, as you can see, um, just to check the way that things go. And it is, these are the things that I need to do next to then be able to put the roof in. So what we're going to be doing is, is we've got the original factory bulkhead, um, which just so happens to be constructed in a way that this piece, and this piece, as you can see, come to a very nice little point. So if we follow this line and cut this all the way along here, we'll get rid of all of this piece and it will leave us with this nice trim piece that we can then carpet it and put in the van and give us a nice finished edge of those. So, the compressor's just stood up finally, uh, air saw. I'm gonna go around and cut this edge off then we'll tidy it up with sander, a Dremel or something, um, offer it in and then we'll be able to put some carpet on it and yeah, get them in the van and see what they look like. Hopefully I don't wreck it because if not, I'll buy a new bulkhead. And there is your trimmed piece. So yeah, took all this lip off. The bulkhead went off like that. So we've cleaned all that edge up along there. Come in there, I mean, don't do what I did and cut into there and then cut through it there. Basically, this end is bang on on a corner. See that? Come on. This end is bang on on a corner so you can get a nice radius on it. This end does a bit of a, come on. this end has got a bit of a dip to it and it goes in like that into like a valley. So you can't do what I did and get too close or you cut through it. But they look sick when they're in. So we'll cut the other one, get these trimmed, get them fitted, put them in before the roof line, headliner goes in as well. And then this little clip, Oh yeah, this little clip here will be up against the roof, your roof panel will go above it, and you won't see it, and it'll look even neater. So all I did with that was air saw most of it away, then I've used this finger sander uh, with a new belt in to trim most of it back, a knife to clear the swarf off, and then some sandpaper by hand just to clean it back. One done, let's do the next one. There's the second one, rough cut. Show you the overhang and everything. So we've got all this overhang here. Go down here, we've got all this overhang here to clean back as well. But, not too bad. Uh, air store makes a pretty easy job of it. If I had a decent compressor, it'd be even easier. Um, so yeah, trim this all back now, get it all sanded up. Clean this bench down, then we can get trimming them, and get them in the van. Uh, 
And we've got both an out cut and sorted. Um, I found an off cut carpet that will do one side. I'll find an off cut carpet that will do the other side as well. Um, I'm going to wipe them over with some thinners just to make sure there's no like uh, grease or anything on them from people putting sort of shine, dash shine and things like that on them. Give them real good clean back. I'm going to give them a wipe over and a quick sand as well just to keep the surface and then clean them again. Um, and then we'll start spraying and get this carpet stuck on. There we go, one, trimmed, carpeted, trim, B pillar trim, which looks, doesn't really look anything out of the car. Let's get it in and see what it looks like. So let's try and fit this in the van then. I've made some cuts for the three bolt holes. Um, I should really have taken the headliner down, but it should slide in with it still in place. Around there, make sure the carpet's tucked back and the edge is clean for where it joins the B pillar trim. Pop your fixing in. Hopefully. He says is it okay in? There we go. In finishes that corner nicely. Yeah, look absolutely mega. <laughs> Show you them properly. So from the top down, all nice and neat against the pillar, all the way down. And nice and neat on the floor as well. Really finishes it off in a very inexpensive way of doing it. I did have a very quick look online last night. I think the replacement B pillars to the top and the bottom for both sides was about 360 quid. And all I've done is spent an hour and a half, I think, in total, cutting them down a bit and then wrapping some carpet around it. And they look pretty good. So... Now it's time to take the headliner down. We have made, I've marked on it what I've got to do with it. Chuck it on the bench on top of the ply, draw around it, jigsaw that out, carpet that and get that up. And that's that bit done, then it's the flooring. And we're not far off, a few bits to do in the doors, a bit of insulation and sand editing, and then we're about done. So let's get the roof down and get that rolling. So I bought a sheet of three mil um, hardwood plywood for the new roof panel. And the reason being, the reason I can't use the original cardboard panel is these castellations on this top front edge here go into the headliner and the cutouts, these bits, are for where the bulkhead goes to. And obviously we've not got the rest of the bulkhead in anymore, so it'd be a bit of a bad detail on the roof. So we need to remake it to get rid of these castellations, but also the furthest points on the front, it wants to be about 10 mil longer to go nicely into the uh, crease that's in the front roof panel. So what I'm going to do is put these, this edge is a straight edge and I've checked it up on in the car, in the van as well. It's a pretty straight edge. We're going to uh, put this up to one of the edges of this sheet, saves us one cut. You don't see the cut, so it doesn't matter that we're using the factory cut. We're going to carpet it, so it's not a problem. Um, Extend it or offset this from the edge by 10 mil to give us the extra 10 mil we need. Draw around it with a pencil and through round all the holes. So we've got all of the markings for the holes that need to go in the roof for the trim clips to go in as well. Uh, the light will put that back in as well. And then get the jigsaw out and cut it out. Hopefully, it won't take too long and then we can get some carpet and then get this in.
Now that's all cut out, I've just chucked the original headlining back in the van um, because obviously we've carpeted over all the holes now where the clips want to go and the carpet's that strong that you can't knock the clips and just sort of break the carpet. You have to pierce the carpet so the clip can hold to the metal. Now the little trick of the way that I do it, there's loads of different ways of doing it. The easiest way I've found of doing it is clip your panel back on in place. Handily, obviously the middle of the roof isn't carpeted so you can just chuck um, a couple of clips in it. And on the walls you can just sort of hold them. Soldering iron. Just get a soldering iron, hold your panel up and then you can find where the hole is, turn it, job done. All cut back nice. It smokes like hell. I'm going to open the door in a minute. I'm going to put my mask on because it isn't very nice. It gave me a headache the last time I did it. Um, so, yeah, that's the easiest way to do it. I'm going to run around the roof now, get them done. Uh, we'll offer the headlining in just to check it with the original clip so we can still remove it. Make sure everything's okay. If it needs to trim, we'll trim it. And back on the bench, carpet it, get it in, on to the next thing. Easy as that. So they're done, get this down, get that off it in, move on. Camera died as I was bringing it in. Um, but yeah, it fits. Um, don't know why it won't, we drew around one that came it out of it, that it fitted anyway. Got a nice clean line at the front here to this uh, front headliner as well. Um, all the holes seem to line up. So get it on the bench, get it covered in carpet and get it in. So trim clips. Um, I want to put these panels in, but I don't want to see any fixings. Um, I like it when it's just all carpet and there's no visible fixings through through the panels that you're going to put on and through the roof. So obviously the original ones are, um, you're going to see them because they go in, you, you carpet the panel, use the same trick um, with the uh, soldering iron, clean the holes out and then you just put your clip through again, it's all nice and easy. Did that on the T5, which is earlier in the channel. First video I did on the first series I did on the channel. If you've not already seen it, do go back and get that watch. Apparently it was pretty good. I enjoyed doing it anyway. Um, set us on this path. Um, what I'm going to be using are these clips that we used on the T5. They're a little fir tree clip. They've got a smooth on the edge. And the way that I'm going to do it is we're going to put them in the panel before we put the carpet on. So this panel is going to be carpeted on this face. These clips, you can see that, we'll put through that face like that. Carpet over the top. And then we've got those clips. We can then got them in position. You can feel them under the carpet, knock them into the holes in the van, and it'll hold it up and you won't know where the fixings are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this panel first. Then we'll drop, we'll move it out of the way. I'll then put this back onto the bench and we will drop the clips into the holes and then we'll put the carpet on it um, and get it all covered and hopefully it works because the last time I did this it was... There we go, trimmed. Just got to remember to pull the light cable over. We'll get this in now. First thing we've got to do is chuck a little bit of insulation in the roof, which we will use contact adhesive. Just put it up, just to hold the middle. There's the headliner in. Clip the light in, and that's it up. Looking damn good without any visible fixings. All these trims are fitting nice. Sweet. That's the roof in then, guys. Looks absolutely mega. So much better than it did before. Um, carpeted this little cover as well, just to finish that little area off. Lights now clipped in. It looks absolutely amazing. 
I think the little trick with cutting the bulkhead down in the front is absolutely brilliant. Uh, the more I'm looking into it, the more people already sort of know about it, but you never know, this video might help somebody um, that's never been around caddies before, like myself, that didn't know about that. Hopefully it will save you some money and help you, uh, yeah, be able to make the van look a hell of a lot better for nothing really. So yeah, I'm so happy with the way this has turned out so far. Looking absolutely mega. We've still got to get right, get on with the floor um, and then we need to make a start on sorting the um, sliding door and the rear doors out, sand and insulate, ply lining, all of that jazz for those as well and carpet the panels to go on here. In the first video I mentioned that well, I said, does anyone think it'd be a good idea for us to get a caddy for the channel and do a full build series on a caddy? Um, and it was a resounding yes. So I'd like to buy one. Unfortunately, at the moment, the majority of what I have is tied up in that um, pile of rust <laughs> behind you. Um, you guys can help us to get one for the channel, though. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Click the little bell to get notified on the videos. That all massively helps with YouTube's algorithm of getting the channel out further and helping it to grow. Um, I've also launched um, a new website, dacind.com, um, which has got all of the merchandise on there. got some pretty nice bits on there. Um, I have also added a limited edition t-shirt to it as well, um, which is on pre-order, which will then be delivered out uh, or sent out at the end of January when they've been printed, Christmas and all of that. So yeah, go over there, have a look. You never know, give yourself a little treat. Um, if there's something on there that you want that we've not got in your size, drop me an email and I'll add you to the next order because I don't hold loads of stock because it costs too much money. Um, if there's an item that you want in a specific size, I'll add you to the list, add that size, and then the next time we do a restock, you're guaranteed to have your item in that restock. So that'll do, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do really, really appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this series. I'm massively enjoying the little break from the golf, I have to admit. Um, looking forward to getting back on with it, though. But yeah, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, enjoy.